Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. My name is Spange and you join me here uh, with Inverted Cow from the Mercenaries faction and Leclerc from the Pirate faction as well. And what we're doing today is we are testing uh, Inverted Cow's new capital vessel. You see it's the one in the middle there with the, the blue fin things on the outside. I don't know really what to call them but yeah let's go with that. Anyway, um, so me and Lek are in the Valiant and the X Media, respectively, uh, to CVs that are probably quite a lot more powerful than the one that Carol is uh, testing. But we figure, well, what better test for a CV than to put it in an impossible situation that it can never win? Uh, and let's see how she performs. Alrighty. Um, yeah, heard whatever P menu turrets are on turrets on alrighty let's, let's have at him alright hey let's find you guys first <laughs> oh you'll see us soon enough oh I'm sure of that what's the range on these things again 800 meters in yeah, I think that's the uh, same with everything. Open personals might buy a flak cannon. <laughs> Whoa, crossfire. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea if I'm actually hitting you at all. I don't know, I'm hearing shots bouncing off my hull here. <laughs> you wouldn't have thought that you'd have to give a, a weapon that fires at the speed of light lead. <laughs> but I think I do. You having fun? <laughs> you talk out one of my windows. Uh oh. That's the problem is the soft and squishy spot is right in the middle of the. Yeah, so every time you face the X Media, you get both barrels of its turrets. Yeah. She spins well, though. I have a fire firing at him anymore. Come on, Lange. Yeah, for some reason my weapons won't fire now. Oh, are we taking out your ammo box? No, I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> Little finger dyslexia, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, I've crashed into an asteroid. This guy knows oh, some maneuvers. I got it. This thing is handles pretty nicely. Yeah, well, it's got about 3,000 RCSs in it. That's why it's illegal on this server. Oh. <laughs> What's that, the X-Media? That version of it is, yeah. Oh. Ooh, you're sitting still. Out of my ship. What the heck? Oh, is you lost your cockpit. <laughs> Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Turret's off, a second, turret's off. I'm lagging, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, I just... I think I shut the ship off here. <clears throat> How badly did we, uh... <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah, your front's gone. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the oh, sentry god, guns are pretty good, too, because they were taking most of the, uh, the target in as well. Yeah, 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 they would distract your turrets. 
Damn. Did I even take any damage? I took some damage from Sunsen. I don't know where. But oh, I, I got you I... a square. I, I got both ships square at least once with uh, a couple of good shots. But yeah, it's it's very I hard to damage target. Right there. Very hard to target this thing. Yeah, you're definitely gonna have to do some improvements on the old front there because you've lost lost all four missile launchers. Yeah. Yeah. And <clears> you're not gonna fire much with this. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you you might want you might want to layer the armor for the cockpit in several layers of armored glass rather than just one. I My only suggestion. I made, it, I made it three layers thick, but I couldn't see through the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. It was like. Uh... I, because I, I've the front layer I had um, a layer of um, standard standard um, armored glass, and then I right uh, reversed a layer over top of it, so it was like literally back to back, sandwiched together, two layers thick, and then I layered a third layer of the uh, one way armored glass, so I could see out. Um, on the inside of the cockpit, and it was like I, I looked at the sun, and it's like he just had this kind of a dim little glimmer. <laughs> you, you must have taken a smack from the old artillery turret here. You got a massive hole in your armor. <laughs> it's huge. In one of the uh, one of the outside armor pods. I, I my artillery turret never left sight of him. So, what would you see this thing normally coming up against? In in an ideal matchup, what would this come up against? Um, I don't know. I mean, ideal matchups. I mean, usually it's um, like the whole concept of this ship was it was to be a patrol fighter. You know, basically just go out and patrol through all of the asteroid fields. And uh, have enough armament and enough uh, equipment to be able to fight um, this stuff you find in the asteroid fields more than anything. So okay, are we so we're we talking carriers and stuff like that, or are we talking player ships like starter vessels, mining ships? Well, car carriers aren't even a threat. I mean, this yeah, thing. Yeah. Eats carriers like I mean seriously three shots in the right location and you'll disable the carrier every time and you just sit there and let the sentry turrets pick off the thirty drones that stick out of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, if it ran into player ships, I mean you obviously you wouldn't want to go up against the old breakdancing X media here. <laughs> I'm slightly confused because I just run the poof command on it and it's still there. Hmm. I didn't think anything could stop the poof command. Wait, let, the poof let, command on what? If you if you jump out the uh, pilot seat for me. There you go. <laughs> it's because it's because you were in it. <laughs> Sorry, I guess you'll spin slowly on my character. <laughs> Uh, what? What? Uh, I, what, what my... was that? What was that gun again that we needed to shoot him with? Um... <laughs> <laughs> One other thing I was thinking as well with this design is um, the reason you took so much fire at the cockpit was because that's where your your guns were. So obviously the turrets are targeting turrets and mounted weapons, and they also yep. target thrusters. So that you, you've not got any thrusters in the danger zone there, but your mounted weapons flanking the cockpit that's where your your fire is going to come into so I wonder if it's possible to put the mounted weapons in the external armor pods somehow well, here let me spawn in a new one here yeah and you show me what you're talking about yeah okay what the hell so let's see where have we got thickness just see if I can get this thing off of there we go public Hey, uh, Sponge. Hello? What? Sorry? Where is the door to get in this? Into what? Oh, the, um, Valiant? Yeah. <laughs> it's on the underside. Uh, it's just here. Oh. Let me 
That's it. Oh, oh, oh. I see it. So what I've just done is I just dug a hole into the side here and out. That's, that's perhaps not the best placing. You could probably set it deeper than that. But if you stick them like that out the armor pods, then your incoming fire is going to be on your armor pods, not on your cockpit. <laughs> now for crying out loud, Leg. What? <laughs> <laughs> What? You know what they say, small things, small minds. <laughs> so, they what... give them good footage. <laughs> the Valiant doing somersaults. Yeah, see, with these uh, four extra rocket launchers, this thing now looks badass. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> gonna... Okay, so you were saying in the... So, I... Where I've placed them, I haven't set them very deep in the armor, so you might want to set them further back so that they're not so exposed. But that's yeah. essentially the general idea. That way, that it, when turrets are shooting at you, they're shooting at the heavy armored parts of the ship on the outside, not your soft squishy bit in the middle where, where you sat. Yeah, that was kind of actually the original idea was to have the... Um, Look at this guy. Uh, the turrets actually sticking out through the the, the wing pods here. What's this called um, again? The deceiving. <sighs> this one here. Valiant. Valiant approves. <laughs> approves. All right. How do I? Uh... Where's the car? Right, so what now? Kick player, all player, game, game master. Damn it, needs to be a game master. Yeah. Never mind. So the only other thought I had um, is with the cockpit. If the cockpit's there, well, you could move the cockpit either so it's an offset cockpit, so it's not near um, anything that's going to be shot at. Could be yeah. sat on the top, maybe. Um, or the bomb, equally, but obviously you're trying to maintain your line of sight um, so so you can aim the missiles. Yeah, that's the biggest problem, right? Is that you have to have um, a forward-facing thing. But then again, you, I w was originally just going to have a much smaller cockpit. Um, when this was designed, like I said, I had originally made it so that the armor glass plating was actually three layers thick. Um, but I couldn't see through it. Two layers thick, you could barely see through it, uh, which really, really actually was very annoying. <laughs> well, I think um, the blue laser connected to them flying everywhere. Stop turning the ship off, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm spawning in the Aurora because you're ignoring me. He <laughs> probably can't hear you. <laughs> what happened? I've spawned in your ship. I have no idea how good this thing is going to do in combat. Oh, that's pretty cool. And yeah. it doesn't have that many RCs, so it's an ego RC count. It's, it, it turns slowly, right? Not for a ship that size. It turns like a bloody SV by the look of it. Well, it's, it's turning to really slow. What do you mean? <laughs> it's just slow. No, it's not. <laughs> I, I tell you what, slow. I was spawning the carrier, and then you'll see slow. To me, Jeez. I have to drag my, oh. my mouse everywhere. Hang on, let me get the uh, violin like, out I, for look, you. Look, I can't spin as fast. <laughs> I, I can't spin as fast. Oh, babe. Come over here. I want to blow you up. Blow me up? Yeah, you would. Are you gonna blow me up, huh? Huh? You gonna blow me up? I wanna blow me up. I wanna blow you up. <laughs> okay, the ship is public. I turn my turret on, see if they attack. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Yeah. They attacking? Nope. Nope, they're not. I wonder if it's because I'm in the faction. Oh wait, there they are. Oh. 
Yeah, that's sort of a pop already. Homing missiles! Shooting out the big one then? Oh yeah. Oh I've lost I've lost you took out three of my guns. Oh he's doing that reverse thing again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show him how fast the thing is on reverse. He won't be able to keep <laughs> There you go. I need to do some field repairs. <laughs> Yeah, that little ship of yours would take a bit of a pop, pop, Yeah, it's, um, it's not so much that she hasn't got the armor, it's more the stamina, I suppose, in terms of weapons. It's very easy to take the uh, pulse lasers out off the front of it. Because ultimately they need to be exposed in order to fire, so... Uh, there's nothing yeah. else on there to draw shot away. Get annihilated all the time. Quick damage report. Oh, yeah, fuel tanks aren't looking particularly healthy. Ammo storage is fine. Pulse lasers aren't very healthy. Thrusters are all good. Yeah, I scratched my paint in a couple of spots. It's the, uh, the fuel tanks are busted all my front windows. <laughs> oh, damn. I know I've docked out a couple of his thrusters already. Hearing my shots fire, but I don't see him coming out of my ship. Look at what he did to my ship. <laughs> He's limping away from the bow. He's chasing me. <laughs> Hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll get the thing to save you. I'm in speed! <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. 
Yeah. Oh, I, I, I've got seven things in the ship. No, you're in god mode! No, you son of a bitch! <laughs> 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 I think you have my turn to aim in that unit in you. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Megwitch, I forgot you recorded there, right? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. No! Whoops, that gun's out. What did you do? <laughs> Whoop, that gun's out. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, that gun's out. Oh, that gun's out. What else you got on here that's shooting at me? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> did. He took out my cockpit. Uh, that was a good battle. Ah. Uh. The Aurora is oh, definitely a home. nice piece of kit. <laughs> Oh, you took out my other one! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I was like, yoink! <laughs> so Can I introduce you to uh, a, a fairly large gun? It does a very good job. <laughs> huh? Oh, what have you spawned in? The, the debug run gun. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm using. <laughs> We're just debug gunning the ship. <laughs> Oop, there goes the ammo. Yep, there goes <laughs> On the inside here, except for all the holes that are suddenly appearing in it. There's a very lot of holes, yeah. Oh, there goes the fuel. <laughs> Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The lesson learned from this episode is if you cannot beat a fight in a PvP uh, ship fight, then just spawn in the debug gun with the admin commands and take it out that way. <laughs> Honestly, we were just messing around on the server there, just testing out CVs. It was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks to Inverted Cow and Lurk uh, for their time that evening. It was a great laugh, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Just a quick shout out to. Uh, the original creator of the Aurora there that we saw in that final uh, battle was actually Watcher330. Um, just to give appropriate credit to the uh, the the, cre uh, the creator of the Aurora. Now Lech Lurk did take that ship and he's modified it himself. So the the version of it that you've seen in this episode is a modification that he's made. But the original creator is uh, like I say, Watcher three three zero on the workshop there. Um, that's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope I see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye bye.